Hello and Happy New Year 2024 to all of you, especially to members of my Diversity Visa Guardians program. It is true that I've already presented my best wishes for you concerning the new year, but I would like to re-echo those wishes in this first video of the year 2024. Let me first of all say thanks a million to you guys for being members of the Diversity Visa Guidance Program. You are an invaluable source of support to this channel. My wish for you concerning this new year is that your dream of being issued Diversity Visas as part of the DV 2024 program be fulfilled. Thanks to you once again and Happy New Year to you, but also to other faithful viewers of this channel. Now, we introduced the first CAG data for the DV 2024 program in the last video. Yesterday being January 1st, 2024, the data was released by the U.S. State Department and as expected, Zatitius has extracted the data and posted them to his website. In a moment, we will go over to Zatitius' website to consider the data, but before we do, in case you are new to this channel and you are in need of guidance for your diversity visa application, then look below the video, click on the second link, it leads to my guidance platform, use the tools on the platform to either join the guidance program or acquire more information. So now, let's go over to Zatitius' website Click on the first link, the link that is just below the video, and it's going to take you to the DV 2024 CAG data page on Zatitius' website. So this is the first DV 2024 CAG data as presented by Zatitius on his website. On this page, we are going to consider three items. Beginning with the table that you now have on your screen, that table shows the statistics for the cases that have so far been scheduled for interview in the DV 2024 program. In the first column, as you can see, we have the various regions. Now, we are going to concern ourselves to only two columns in this table. The first is the second column where we have the statistics for issuances, that is, the number of visas that have so far been issued to DV 2024 applicants. We see that at the bottom of that column, a total of 6,110 visas were issued during the months of October, November, and December. Now, another comment to make concerning this table is that the numbers you see outside of the parentheses represent the number of applicants and what you have in parentheses represents the number of cases that those applicants belong to. So for example, the 6,110 that we see at the bottom of the issued column are the total number of applicants that have been issued visas from 3,074 cases. And that is why you have 3,074 in parentheses representing the number of cases and 6,110 outside of parentheses representing the number of applicants. And then the next column I would like to draw your attention to is the sixth column, which is the ready column. That's the number of applicants that are currently scheduled for interview at the different U.S. embassies and consulates. At the bottom of that column, we see that 6,792 cases are currently scheduled at the various embassies and consulates and that amount to 14,721 applicants. The next item on this page that I would like to consider is the DV 2024 CAG data for embassies. That's the next section on this page. So just scroll down a bit to where you have DV 2024 CAG data for embassies. And in the table that is presented there, we have the same information that we just saw but this time for individual embassies and consulates. What is currently shown is for the Abu Dhabi embassy. In case you would like to have details concerning interviews that have so far been scheduled at your embassy, 
Then enter the name of your embassy in the space where you have choose an embassy. Now the final item of interest to us in this video is found at the top of this page so let's return to the top and consider it. Now just above the first table that we saw there is a link that reads FY 2024 CAC current CSV. Clicking that link will allow you to download the spreadsheet file that shows the current status of individual cases. Now, in addition to the current status of individual cases, that file also tells us how far interview scheduling has gone at your various embassies and consulates. Now, in case you are not in the position to download the file, what I do on this channel is I present what I refer to as my weekly embassy performance report. So continue to follow from now on as I present to you the situation of interview scheduling at your various embassies and consulates in those weekly embassy performance reports. Now, the final thing concerning this first downloadable spreadsheet file for the DV 2024 program is that it reveals to us the highest case number in each region. And so for this year's program, the highest case numbers are as follows. For the Africa region, 122,907. For the Asia region, 42,876. For the Europe region, 66,932. For the North America region, 19. For Oceania, it is 4,999. And for the South America region, it is 5,574. Those are the highest case numbers in the DV 2024 program. So that concerns the first SEAC data for the DV 2024 program. Those are just the first data. From now on, the data will be released regularly by the State Department. And what the Zapticius does is that he posts them to his website every weekend. And that is going to continue up to the end of the DV 2024 program. And as the data is made available by Zapticius, we will have the opportunity on this channel to consider them. And that brings us to the end of this one. Thanks for watching it. See you, God willing, in the next one. Goodbye.